Hi guys, just want to make a quick tutorial on how you how can you turn a tablet PC like this one into a launchpad for free. There is a, this program called Open Stage Control, and you got templates like this one, which you can pretty easily do this. And you need a cable attached, as you see in this one. You need a cable attached. And pretty cool stuff. Okay, so follow me into the tutorial, we're gonna see how to do this, yeah? People, let's start doing this, it's gonna be quick. Um, you just need to download these uh, three things. Uh, open a stage control, the program, it doesn't need an installation or anything, it's just a zip file with an executable. Uh, you need also loop MIDI to create just on Windows 10. Uh, for Mac is uh, it's another story. It's, uh, it's easier even, you know, like you don't need this. But yeah, let's do it for Windows 10. And then create a yeah, virtual port in and out for the DOM. Um, then load, download the template uh, and execute it. Uh, okay, let's get into it. Uh, then, well, obviously you configure it in your DOM, in my case Ableton. Okay, let's get into it. So, I, I already have it everything downloaded I'm not gonna explain you how to download stuff I I know you know how to do that obviously uh, let's do loop MIDI yeah? so here we got the loop MIDI the uh, loop MIDI application you just need to create two ports this one uh, you can call it whatever you want but just for the sake of uh, uh, interoperability let's add this one uh, add this one yeah you add them with a plus you wanna delete any, you know, with a minus okay uh, download the virtual I already got it uh, I execute this with the command line because it's easier, you know, like once I know the commands you know, it's just copy paste and it will be executed the way you want it but um, you, can, you can pretty much uh, execute the exe the binary but I'm gonna do it uh, the simple way. Let me just uh, check. So I opened a power cell or any prompt in here. It's easy. You can pretty much do the same. Go to the part where I have downloaded this. Uh, open a stage control. Open a stage control. And I execute this. These are all the parts. You need to correct them where you have the program program and in here and what is the the templates mm. execute this you need to you need to also input the ports that you just created you know you create a virtual port so a virtual launch pad is the one is specified on there you can read the manual for this you know I'm not gonna explain you you know I'm gonna be quick but yeah it should be like this for me and, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the good thing of this program, you know, you execute it on your computer and then in, the, in your tablet or whatever other device, you know, touch device you have, you know, like uh, Android or whatever, you know, uh, iPad, uh, you can execute a browser and uh, it will, it, it will, uh, it will actually, you know, you need to connect it with the local area network. You need to connect to the same local area network, it will be connected on the same Wi-Fi. Okay, so you got this already running. Now it's just a matter of uh, go to Ableton Live. And, um, mm, 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 mm. This is a little bit of a potato, yeah? It uh, takes its time. Mm, 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 mm. So as I said, you know, you need a cable. Uh, that's a uh, pretty cool stuff. You know, it's quite better. You know, you can download even more templates. You know, we're gonna be doing, and you can join the community and do some more stuff. Uh, we need some more people to do some more stuff. You know, this is you can actually edit all of these templates and do a MIDI device however you want it, or even a virtual device with OSC, which is uh, what is intended to do this program as well. 
so uh, yeah I will put the links on the description and you can check the, um, the, uh, the forum where we put all of this stuff and maybe you know if you see that this template is improvable you can just uh, participate on that okay this is taking a sweet little time mm. another story well let's uh, okay so in Ableton uh, we can use this MIDI device as a um, as the remote script so in Ableton we can use this MIDI device as a, the controller of a remote script because it's done for that just the same as a launchpad so let's set it up go to preference so reset tab for me uh, but what you need to do is select the launchpad in here in control surface input the virtual launchpad in that is the one uh, we created with the loop midi uh, program and the out out uh, you need to select track and remote on for the input and the output as well and uh, now we go to a pretty cool template that is gonna take ages to load uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. And now you got this uh, working. Uh, just gonna show you. You pop a browser. You know you can do it locally on the same computer. You know you just need the IP of your computer, and then this port is the port that uses by default. It's 8080. Uh, you can do this uh, with uh, with a tablet. Obviously, it's intended to to be done for that. Or other computers and stuff, but you want to be tactile, I reckon. So uh, just connect a tablet on your local area network. Put the IP of this computer. Uh, you may run into problem. Maybe if you run into a problem with it, you shouldn't. But check the firewall. Just in case, check the firewall of your computer. And uh, here you go. It just it just goes a little bit slow because this computer is a potato, definitely. But you can see if you press this one, it should be working. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Super nice. Because really slow, this computer is really, 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 really old. So then you can do this stuff like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, guys. So I think I've said it all. Thanks very much. You know, if you got any questions, just post them uh, down, or you can also go to the forum, and uh, we'll check that for you guys. Thank you.